bus table Liquor's creeping, yeah They gon' find you Gon' catch you sleeping Oh, now stay woke Liquor's creeping Don't you close your eyes Hey YouTube, Natasha Zanel here, and thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the subscribe button, join the family. Um, if you're subscribed, go ahead and click the notification bell so you can know when I know that I upload. Um, it's been a minute, so let's just go ahead and get into this video. Hey! So, uh, if you saw the thumbnail, saw the, the title of this video, um, then you're like, what? Um, what are we talking about today? Um, for those who are not familiar with me, my channel, I am a virgin and I'm waiting until marriage to have sex. That's kind of why I started my YouTube journey. I wanted to kind of find people who could relate to me or find my little tribe because it's not normal. I don't want to say that. It's not not normal. It's not common. Um, I'm 25. I'll be 26 this month. Okay, the end of this month. So, it's a struggle. It's a journey. I wanted to make a series of the top three things that I hear or responses I get when a new person figures out that I am a virgin. Um, this is not necessarily things I hear from people that I'm romantically interested in. Um, more so like associates or new friends and you know the conversation comes up because we're young we talk about sex all the time I guess um, and I tell them I'm a virgin and literally I hear these same things like it might be a little bit different little paraphrase but like everything is basically the same response so I wanted to talk about that and the one of the things that I hear the most I swear the most is this rhetoric of what if you wait and the sex is bad honestly that one i feel like a lot of people who ask that are just so confused with the idea that i'm a virgin and i'm waiting that they're kind of just trying to like stab stab like holes in my beliefs or my morals and values not to say that's everybody because it's it's a it's a logical question i guess um but more than likely, that rhetoric is when people are just trying to be like, girl, you waiting for real, that's stupid. Basically, that's what they're saying, you're stupid, but they don't want to say that, they don't want to be rude. So it's kind of like, well, what if this ex is bad? And my answer is always, that's not my concern. Like, on the list of concerns that I have, being a virgin, um, waiting until marriage, bad sex is literally not on it. And if it was on it, it's like at the very bottom. Because... The way I see it, I'm the reason I'm waiting is a spiritual one. It's a vow that I made to myself to God. And I just don't feel like God is going to send me a man that I'm not sexually compatible with. Not to say that the first time is going to be fireworks and that everything's going to go right. Because I feel like with each new partner, if you're somebody that has different partners, um, you have to learn. You have to get acquainted with each other's bodies. you got to figure out what you like, what you don't like. And for me, it's like I don't have anything to compare it to is I've never done it so I'll be just you know figure out what it is that I like and I just don't know that I'm gonna walk away from my first experience and oh that was bad that was horrible now maybe that was uncomfortable maybe that was painful maybe that was you know not what I might have thought it would be but with a man that I love with a man that I am committing to walking this life thing with but the man that I want to have my kids I just don't see us being so sexually incompatible to the point where it's like I regret waiting or I regret you know having sex with you I just I do not see it um, I have no like romantic ideal about what my first time is going to be like because I hear that too it's like well don't you know don't don't have any expectations or I hope you don't think it's it's like I'm not dumb I'm 26 you know I'm sorry no nah, I'm 25 but I'm 26 and I know for some people it comes from a really good place and that doesn't bother me but for those who are trying to like down me but be like passive aggressive about it I catch it I don't say anything but I catch it and um 
I don't have any preconceived notions about what sex is going to be like for my first time. I know it's going to be painful. So, I know that sex is not going to be a walk in the park. I'm not, I'm not that naive, I'm not that gullible. Um, but bad sex? Mm, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I just, I don't, I don't think that's, be, that's going to be an issue. Um, the man that's going to come into my life, that's going to be my husband, that's going to be my whole thing, we're going to work it out. Like, even if the first time is, you know, awkward, which is probably going to be, because I'm awkward. And, um, even if it's not, like, the most beautiful romantic thing in the entire world, we have a lifetime to get it right, you know? We have a lifetime to work it out. And I feel like part of me wants to address that because I hear it so much. And, um... Another part is that I want to encourage other people who are waiting, who are on a journey, not to get discouraged by comments or remarks like that. Because you're going to get them. You're going to get the people who just completely don't understand why you're waiting or don't understand um, how you could wait or why you would want to wait. Um, they just don't get that rationale. And that's cool. Um, I can't say that that's vice versa because... I get it. Sex is cool. Sex is awesome. Sex was created to be this awesome bond between folks. Even though I don't really, I don't agree with casual dating. I don't knock folk who casual date or casual date. I don't um, agree with casual sex. I don't knock folk who have casual sex. My friends have casual sex. Like, not say all of them. Some of them. <laughs> That's where they business out there. Some of them don't. But I'm just saying, like, I know people. I love people who are all for casual sex just ain't me and I just feel like uh, I wish a lot of people could take the same um attitude that I have and give the same respect to those who wait as I do to the ones who don't but that's not everybody's mentality so yeah that's the first thing that's one of the first things that I hear um literally across the board everybody who finds out I'm a virgin they're like well what if the sex is bad and I'm like like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do you, do you think I should just leave my husband? Is that sex as well? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand it, and I just feel like I wish there was more of a cultural acceptance toward people who are waiting and who respect others who don't wait. I'm not saying for those who are, who preach. And, and, and shove down people's throat abstinence because that's not me. If you know me, that's never been me. That's my journey. It don't have to be yours. If that's not what you believe, cool. I feel like God can bless you in whatever situation you're in. I, who am I to tell you what's best for you? You know? Um, vice versa. Who are you to tell me what's best for me? And for me, right now, at 25, as hard as it is to say, waiting until, you know... I get married is just what I feel like is best for me. So yeah, I ain't gonna worry about bad sex, guys. Cause I'm tr trust me, trust me, tr just just trust me, you. Okay, the man that is fitting to come into my life, get down on one knee and be like, boo, boo, boo. You fitting to marry me or not? Like we're not gonna have that issue. So stop asking, folk. Worry about your sex life. Okay, where about you? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you could relate, if you feel like somebody else you know could relate, go ahead and share it with them. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, you want to talk to me about something you don't agree with me, you agree with me, let me know in the comments below. Bye, guys.